guys, Epic Tim Tom here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a keycard door. So, um, uh, so basically, uh, you insert a keycard, uh, the password's name Tim Tom for mine, um, and then the door opens. Okay, so let me show you. So first, you just place this in, and then the door will open for a certain amount of time and then just close. Uh, you can also open it from behind just by placing a button there. But anyway, um, just to make this a proof of concept, uh, I've got uh, another, any, no other items will work for it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to show you how to build it now. Okay, so to build it, uh, just build like a little uh, wall or something. Or just dig um, some spacing out through your house. Um, then place a door here, and then next, what we're gonna do is place a dropper here, and then grab a button. Uh, here we go, and then crouch and place it there. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is place a hopper going into this dropper, and then we're gonna place some blocks. So block with the comparator on top, crouch, place a block, then next we're going to place two blocks like that, then place two redstone dust on there, redstone torch, and that's basically the whole circuit tree done, except now we're going to do the output system. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up, place a block with redstone dust on top, then a redstone torch like that, then we're going to have two redstone dust like that. And then a compar two, four comparators. Then all tap them and put them onto subtract mode. Then next we're going to place two redstone here. What this will do is make like a timer system. So it will like, it's like a pulse limiter, similar. Um, it will like, uh, it will basically have the output on for a certain amount of seconds. Uh, the more comparators, the, the longer it will be. So now what we're going to do is place some redstone dust and connect it to our output. Like this. An output is basically um, what happens like after you um, signal something. Okay, that's basically what, that's basically it. And now we're going to configure it. So now to configure it, place an anvil and then you have to choose the password name. Well, I already did mine, but yeah, I'll just you just rename it in the anvil. Okay, um, first put in 18 pieces of paper for your keycard. I just chose paper like that, 18. And then next, we're gonna do a tedious bit, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, awkward, but anyway. So we're gonna put in a block and then give it random tags, like letters, some, some uh, random buttons, <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna put that in to here, and then we'll do that three more times. I know it's a bit like boring. But anyway, uh, like this, and then, okay, so now just two more to go, uh, and yeah, uh, like this, and then, okay, this is going to be the last one. Uh, here we go. Okay, uh, it's just funny how I'm spamming. Okay, now we put that in, and then that's it. That's actually it. So let's test it out. So my password's Tim Tam. Chuck this in. Open, press it, and then the door will open for a certain amount of seconds. And yeah, you can just build around it. Uh, also, um, uh, 
if you don't want anyone unwanted like just placing levers in front um i've got a good solution either place signs or something around it or carpet or there's another cool way uh we're gonna pl place the door in an open sequence uh, position um and then we're gonna have a block we're gonna do a not gate a not gate is basically where it does the opposite of the signal inverts the signal see how it's closed um that way so when we put it in it will still open and also this the red no redstone inputs will open the door except for this um yeah, but otherwise, if you don't, if you want to be able to open it from the inside, that's easy. Uh, all you have to do is, all you have to do is place a button here, and then just add some redstone dust going into this here, and then you'll be able to open it from the inside, like that. Uh, yeah. So that's basically it. So um. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.